guys. Got a complete fix for you here. Uh, at least one that'll work indefinitely until I uh, get you set up with a better image. Okay. So. We just started in attract mode. Okay. I'm going to boot into emulation station. So immediately just hit exit. Escape. I mean, sorry. Yes. Emulation station. Oh, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to map our controllers manually in RetroArch and we're going to set up an auto config manually and then it should work with everything. It's not ideal but it really only takes a few minutes and then you'll be good to go. Okay. So I have already set up my controls in emulation station like on the first boot. Okay, but it does not work in games at all. Um, I had the same issue that everybody else had. So what we're going to do is go to RetroPie. Okay. Go to RetroArch. Bingo. Okay. So first thing we're going to do We're going to go to settings, then we're going to go to configuration. Okay, save configuration on exit. On. Okay. Now you're using your keyboard for everything here. All right. So it'll either be enter or it'll be X to select that. And Z is to go back, I believe. Oh, that's not working. It will work for you. It's not working for me because I had to fix mine. I lost my configuration file and I had to steal raise. <laughs> so Z will be back for you. Let's see if I can figure out what back is. Dang it, that's escape. All right, no big deal. It's going to make it a little bit of a pain, but. So stay right where you're at. I'm just going to go back to where you are. Now, I set it to save on exit, so that's good. Now we're going to go to settings, okay, input, okay, user one hotkey binds. Now you're using X to select these probably. If it's not X, it's going to be enter. Okay, user one input binds, okay, SciTech P880, that's what I'm using. It's a retro pad, whatever, it doesn't make a difference. I'm going to go down here to user one B button is telling you it's the one it's the down okay so it's this one right here now I'll tell you from experience the retro arc is completely backwards between B and A so you're gonna actually hit this one this one right here what would normally be your B button okay so hit X then hit your B button then you're gonna go down hit X then you're gonna hit your Y button Go down, hit X, hit the button you want for select. Go down, hit X, the button you want for start. Okay. Go down, X, the button you want for down. Oh no, that's up. Okay. We'll do that again. The button you want for up, then down. Okay. Now up and down will work on your D pad. So I'm not using my controller anymore for that. Okay. But you can continue to use your keyboard. You're going to hit right, X, and then right, so on and so forth. Okay, guys? Make sure you get those all configured. Now, the A button, since we used the other one for B, it's telling us to use the right one, but we used that for B. So we want to use A. That way our controls aren't backwards. Okay. Hit the A button. Okay. X. It's telling you guys to do top. I'm putting it where it's supposed to be. But it's up to you. Okay. Left shoulder right shoulder I'm gonna skip L2 and R2 because I don't have those buttons on this controller but I'm gonna make sure and use L3 because that'll be one of my hotkeys okay and R3 alright left analog you can do those if you want to I'm not going to okay now we're gonna go right up here to where it says save auto config you're gonna hit X and it'll tell you bam saved successfully so now we have an auto config file for this it should work 
from now on. All right. So now you can use your controller now if you want to. You're going to go back, go to input hotkey binds. I haven't figured out to use how to use two buttons for a hotkey. Okay. So right now what we're going to do until somebody figures that out or tells me how to fix it, there's only one real hotkey that we want that we really need. That's going to be menu toggle. So select menu toggle. I'm going to click my right joystick because we're not using that for anything. Bang. There's my menu toggle. Okay. Now I'm going to go out. Auto config enabled. Make sure that says there, that. Okay. I'm going to double check and make sure my configuration. See, it didn't. Okay. Now it's on save on exit. Okay. We're going to go back one more time and go to this configuration and click save current configuration okay that'll save all your settings that we just set up plus your auto config okay and you're gonna go to quit retroarch we're done your controllers set up now if you have a second controller you're gonna have to go into user two hot or input binds and do the exact same thing all right so now I'll prove it I'm gonna go to a game Nintendo. Eh, who cares? It don't matter. Okay. Now it's going to say configured in port zero instead of saying not configured. All right. So my controller is good to go. There you go. See? Playing. No problem. Absolutely no problem. Hopefully this works out for you guys. Actually, I mean, if you do it right, I know it will. Just follow the instructions. And then in the future, I'll try and get one out that uh, just automatically works correct for people. Enjoy. Let me know how it goes for you, okay?